Hey there folks, it's Mike with Articulate here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create flipped classroom content using Articulate Replay and Microsoft PowerPoint. It's pretty cool, so stick around. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on that classic piece of flipped classroom content, which is the video. Now, typically in these videos, a teacher is recording what they're doing on screen. They would record that and post it to YouTube. So a classic example would be doing a math problem. So maybe it's X plus 2 minus 3 equals 15, and then they would work this out for their students. Now to create this, you need two things, two tools. You need the ability to record your screen, and that's where Articulate Replay comes in. I'm using Replay right now to record what I'm doing on the screen. But then you also need the ability to draw on your screen. Now you just saw me doing it right here, but I don't have a Wacom tablet, I don't have a stylus. All I have is Microsoft PowerPoint and the pen tools, and that's really cool because that's all I need. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how to do this on your machine, and we're going to do it in five simple steps. So step number one, we need to get our pen tools set up here in PowerPoint. I'm in PowerPoint 2010, so if you're in 2007 or 2013, the process may be a little bit different, but the general steps are going to be the same. Now, if you're not familiar with the pen tools, they are really great. I've got a pens tab here, and it allows me to select the type of pen, maybe it's a highlighter, the color, the thickness, and then I can draw here on my slide. That's the key part of being able to draw on your screen. We're going to use the pen tools in PowerPoint. Now, to set this up, once again, I'm in PowerPoint 2010, but I'm going to go to File, Options, Customize Ribbon, and I'm going to select All Commands. From there, if I scroll down, you will see as we get to the P's here, we have some pen tools, pen color, pen style, pen weight, etc. So what you need to do here to get those on your ribbon, to activate those, you need to either add them to an existing tab, or in my case, I added a new tab, named it pens, and then created a group on that tab. And then from there, you can take your tools here and add and remove them. So you can play uh, with this to see which ones that you'd like to use. But once you get that and you've got it all set up, your pens tab here will appear and you'll have access to your pens tools. So that's step number one, getting your pen tools activated. So step number two is to make sure that all of the elements in our replay project are aligned. In other words, that they're the same size. For example, if you look at the recording of me right here, I'm in a 16-9 aspect ratio. If you look at the larger PowerPoint above me here and around me, you'll see that it has the same dimensions. This allows me to switch back and forth from full screen video, here I am, now back down to PowerPoint. So you see that it switches smoothly back and forth. Here's a rule of thumb with replay. The largest video, whether it's your webcam or you bring in another video, the largest video in terms of the dimensions, that's going to dictate the output size from replay. So what we want to do, if I'm recording my webcam as I am right now at 1280 by 720, I want to make sure that my screen recording is the same size. That's going to allow a nice smooth transition back and forth. So what I did in this instance is I took PowerPoint here and I used the pull handles and I pulled it in to fill up that 1280 by 720 recording space. This is going to give me a nice back and forth transition between the two elements. So that's what we're really focused on here is making sure that all of the elements are aligned, same aspect ratio, same dimensions, and that's where we're headed next with step number three. So step number three here, what we're going to be doing, you'll notice that the slide on the screen here is a 4-3. In PowerPoint, it's a 4-3 aspect ratio. But what we're ultimately going to do is we're going to be blowing up that slide here to take up the re entire recording space. So if my video that I'm recording, my webcam, is widescreen, I need to make my slide widescreen as well. And so here's how I do that. I'm going to go to my Design tab. I'm going to go to Page Setup. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select 16-9 aspect ratio because that's the same aspect ratio as 1280 by 720, which is what my webcam is recording at. Now you'll notice that I have a nice widescreen look here. I'm going to get rid of that as well. So that's step number three, making sure that your slide is 16-9 aspect ratio, same aspect ratio as my webcam. 
Step number four, ladies and gentlemen, we are almost there. What we want to do now is we want to be able to draw on the entire recording space. We want a lot of area to draw on. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our slide where we do the drawing and we are going to increase it to take up the entire 1280 by 720 recording space. So you'll notice what I could do is I could take this right here and start to increase it, but we start to run into some trouble. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close down my side here, close down my notes to get the maximum amount of space. And then from here, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take the PowerPoint user interface and I'm going to drag it outside my recording area and use the pull handles to pull down and increase the size of this space. Now what I can do is I can take this right here and increase it larger. So I think on mine it's roughly 133 or 134% that I need to go to because I've been practicing. And so what you do then is take this pull handle, pull it down, and then take it and so you can rearrange this recording space, your slide, so that the slide is going to completely cover your recording area. Now all you should be seeing is a white space here and that's exactly what we want. Now you are ready for the final step. All right, my friends, we are at step number five, and in step number five, you get to be the star because we're going to be recording, and we're going to be recording your beautiful self on webcam, and don't be shy. Your students are absolutely going to love it, so here's what you do. Step number one, click record and replay. Step number two, select your pen tool. Now, you'll need to do it in this order because PowerPoint will lose focus. If you select pen tool first and then click record, you're going to need to go back and select the pen tool again, so select your pen tool second. Once you've got your pen tool selected, you can come on down and begin drawing on the screen. And since the pen tools are off screen here, I can go back up, select a different color, come back down and begin drawing once again in a different color. Speaking of being off screen, here's a bonus tip. Let's say that you have a full blown PowerPoint presentation ready to go, multiple slides. What you can do is do this exact same process that we've been doing here bring your presentation in, get it sized just right, and then since PowerPoint, the rest of PowerPoint is off screen here, your students aren't going to see the scroll bar off to the side with the arrows to go from slide to slide to slide. So you could bring your presentation in, start recording, slide number one, go off screen, click to slide number two, annotate with the pen tools over the top, describe it, record it, etc. It's another great way to leverage replay in PowerPoint to create some great flipped classroom content. Once you get your recording finished, select done, and then in replay, do your editing and then output it. And it's going to output to MPEG-4 video. And from there, you can do just about anything with it. Send it to your students. You can do it on YouTube, Vimeo, put it into studio, put it into storyline. You name it, sky's the limit. So there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. I know I have. It's been a lot of fun creating it. And I think you'll find that it's a lot of fun working with replay as well to create flipped classroom content. Five simple steps to making it happen. In the meantime, if you have any questions about replay, about flipped classroom content, please join us in the eLearning Heroes community. That's community.articulate.com. And come on into the forums, ask your questions, check out tips, hints, tricks, other videos such as this. We are going to be there to help you out. Take care.